in today's video I want to show some problems that genetists face uh, while they are uh, trying to insert uh, the gene from the uh, eukaryotic uh, cells of the eukaryotic organism maybe mammals or any other eukaryotic organism into the uh, cell of bacteria or in other words uh, prokaryotic cell um, prokaryotic cell lack uh, many mechanisms that is uh, normal for the eukaryotic cell and um, there is many different problems that arise and um, in today's video I just want to discuss uh, only three major problems and um, one of the problem is uh, different codon usage in prokaryotic cell uh, and eukaryotic cells. Um, we know that um, there is um, uh, 64 different combinations uh, for only 20 amino acids. That's why um, uh, the genetic code is called uh, uh, degenerative because for each of uh, uh, amino acids there stands from one to four different um, codes. Uh, codes goes in three plates and um, uh, for some amino acids there is as I said four different combinations and for some only three or um, one uh, and in different organisms such um, usage of codons is not the same um, for example um, in uh, bacteria there is perfections uh, for some codons in other bacteria for the other and um, of course uh, different situations with eukaryotic cells and here we see that um, is a leucine uh, amino acid is coded by three different versions uh, three different codes and leucine for example is coded by four different um, um, codons and stop is coded by three different uh, triplets all of them are uh, when you see them in the gene they would mean uh, stop codon when um, the sequence of the gene uh, uh, translation and transcription of this gene would be stopped at this uh, place um, if we'll take a um, human gene, for example, um, I will draw it uh, like a line here. It's just a short representation of the gene. And um, this is going to be a gene on the whole uh, genome. and we also face the other problem that is uh, um, it's not only can be inserted uh, like it is with um, all the um, uh, enhancers and ribosomes binding sites and promoters uh, it's actually uh, should be um, expressed in the uh, prokaryotic cell using um, um, binding sites for ribosome and um, uh, it also have to use uh, promoter of the uh, prokaryotic cell uh, so for example for the um, human gene um, if you would see the table, this is the second row um, and second uh, square from the top. Um, proline uh, is coded by uh, four 
different uh, combination uh, and um, in the human uh, genome uh, they almost uh, equal to each other all four combinations is used some of them uh, can be seen more often and uh, in uh, bacteria cell uh, especially in E. coli there is different picture uh, in most cases uh, this uh, uh, three plates uh, only one combination is used uh, like CCG. Uh, there is other three plates that is used but not as often. So the gene from the human uh, Organ organism if you insert in E. coli uh, it was, uh, would face the difficulties with uh, um, expressing or it wouldn't be expressed at all or the quantities where of the expression would be um, very low. Um, if we take um, the other problem uh, that is um, premature uh, termination of the gene uh, transcription uh, because of many um, it, it, it can happen because uh, when the foreign uh, gene is inserted in the Mm. prokaryotic cell uh, some of it uh, triplets might resemble uh, termination sequence of the E. coli and um, as consequence of it uh, the gene would be terminated uh, much earlier uh, it's um, transcription would be terminated much earlier than it's supposed to be um, and part of the gene would be lost and this is not the only problem that the part of the gene would be lost but later it would be translated to the um, protein sequence and that means that part of the protein also would be lost um, so uh, that means that uh, protein wouldn't be able to make its usual shape and uh, its active site wouldn't be uh, present so the protein itself uh, wouldn't function. Uh, another problem is um, that when we insert the gene from the eukaryotic cell into the prokaryotic cell it includes introns and uh, exons and prokaryotic cells of bacteria is almost doesn't have uh, introns so it cannot effectively uh, exist such introns um, in the human organism or eukaryotic cells there is a mechanism that um, uh, exists introns when um, gene is transcribed to uh, message RNA um, later it the later intron would be exquisite and it's called uh, mature mRNA uh, mature RNA and uh, this mechanism uh, allows uh, eukaryotic cells to make many different uh, combinations of the same gene by the process of excision of different introns 
and thus making a different combination of the same protein that would be slightly different from each other depending on the needs of the organism. Um, this is a message RNA with intron and um, there is um, a way how to uh, insert gene from the eukaryotic organism to the prokaryotic org uh, cell um, uh, it can be done by uh, making a copy uh, DNA or cDNA uh, by using mature mRNA M -R -M -R -N -A when uh, this introns is uh, exquisite and RNA is used as a base for the um, reverse transcriptase that builds uh, complementary DNA then degrade mRNA and uh, will get a double stranded DNA uh, without introns that later can be inserted in the um, prokaryotic organism. That's all for today. Thank you. Goodbye.